So, chain rule. I just want to go back over it again because here's this weird thing that happens. Um, I used to think when I first became a teacher, right? I used to think, man, I wish I was like one of those super experienced teachers because then I would know everything really well. I can, I can just explain it without thinking. Um, and I sort of looked up to them and realized, oh, you know, this is something I'm longing for, but it's going to be many years until I get there. Uh, and then I realized, actually, there's something dangerous that happens to teachers when they get old. Uh, and I don't know if you've noticed this before, or maybe they it's not your experience old. at all. Um, not only do they get old and, old and you know, tired and, and cynical and that kind of thing, but also because they get so good at what they're doing and what they're teaching, they, they forget what it's like to not know these things, or they forget what it's like for this to be new, because it's just, they've been teaching it for decades, right? So, I thought to myself, okay, I gave you a bit of an introduction to this yesterday, but I was determined to come up with a better way of explaining it, one which would be a little more memorable, uh, and you guys already know that I'm fond of corny acronyms, so I've come up with one to try and work you through this, and it took me like a whole 45 minutes to think of it, because... I, had, I knew I had two letters in the middle I had to use, and they turned out to be very uncommon in English words. So, I'll, I'll, let, I'll show it to you, and then I'll let you be the judge whether it's any good or not. Okay? So, here's the kind of question we're looking at, before I tell you what the acronym is. And you'll remember, the reason why we're going into chain rule is just with these kinds of examples. We can differentiate this, we can work with it, if we just expand everything out. But as these powers get very large, that becomes impractical. Okay? So, therefore, we wanted a way of approaching this which avoided expanding. Okay? So, I said, there's the chain rule, and here's my way of remembering. There are four steps to chain rule. Okay? Um, and here are my way of, here's my way of remembering what the four steps are. Okay? So, I don't know how you connect a chain rule to a riot, but anyway, give it a go. If you come up with something, let me know. Chains. Chains and riots. Riots aren't that hard to remember, right? Um, what's the first step? R stands for. Riot, as in chariot. as in riot games. Riots, riots, not riot. Riot. Okay, so the first letter. No, no, the order actually does matter in this. Um, the first letter stands for replace. Okay, so this is my less takeaway way of saying introduce a substitution. Right, that's what we're really doing. Do you remember that? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is say let you, and that was the thing we're going to replace with. Um, this function in here, okay, because we said we've got a function and it's being applied to another function, okay, uh, which is why it's called function of a function rule, okay. So I'm going to let u equal this, okay. So if that's the case, then that implies that y is equal to just u to the power of 8. Is that okay? So there's my replacement. There's my first step, okay. So there's, there's r. Now, what's my second step? I then have to look at these two functions, the inside function and the outside function. I have to differentiate both of them. Okay? So here's my first one, the inside one. So I'll take du on dx, okay, which in this case is 2x plus 3. Right? Okay, so there's the first derivative, the derivative of the inside function. Okay? And then I look at the outside function, which is just u to the power of 8. So dy on du is equal to 8u to the 7th. Okay. So there is my outside function. It's like a donut, but anyway. Okay, now what's my last step? This is where the chain of the chain rule comes in. Okay, I've got my two derivatives, and what I want to do is put them together. Okay, so there's, there's my t, right? What does the chain look like? You take the derivative that you're after, dy on dx. And then you string together the other derivatives you've got in that chain, right? There, dy on du times du on dx. Okay? So that's going to be 8u to the 7, 2x plus 3. And then you remember, we introduced u to help us solve the question, but we don't actually want u in our solution. Okay? So therefore, I'll substitute it back in for what it actually is. Ta-da! Okay, so, that was a riot. Okay, there, there you go, that's, that's it. Uh, chain rule is not that complicated, okay? Uh, at least when you start off. Where it gets really tricky is where you start to introduce different kinds of functions. Uh, when you look at trig 
and logs and exponentials. For instance, you'll get to learn how to do this, differentiate a function like this, or differentiate a function like this. Just write it, man. And so on and so forth. Oh okay. My God. So when you've got different kinds of combinations like these, or something like I don't know, um, different kinds of combinations of families of functions, that's when chain rule gets to be really fun. Okay.